Quen, Coda, versus Bolt, versus Lovewall, versus Firebase Studio. I just built the exact same app on Quen, Bolt, and Lovewall side by side. And I'm absolutely shocked. I'm going to show you how Quen lets you deploy and build web apps completely for free with your own subdomain. I'm going to be showing you my real time test of all three tools, building the same apps and comparing them in terms of speed, quality, and which ones keep breaking. And I'll show you the one downside of Quen that might make you choose a paid option instead. So, Quen actually just released web dev that allows you to deploy apps like you can see right here on a subdomain and build them completely for free for example if we have a look at this we've got the subdomain for our app over here we can copy that we can share it with the world we can share it with our team and we can basically build apps and deploy them completely for free and code them in one single prompt literally what i said was do this and it went off coded it and built a beautiful app right really simple and easy so if you want to see how this compares versus paid tools like bolt.new and lovable and see who wins then let's get straight into it so we're actually going to compare side by side each of these models and i'm actually going to use quen max just to test this out so if you want to get access to this you can go to chat.quen.ai i've got all the links inside the ai success lab if you want to get this stuff plus a step-by-step -step sap we're going to be running some prompts that i would actually use to build our apps and deploy them. So let's get straight into it. First thing we're gonna build is a backlink ROI calculator. So what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna go into Quen Max and we'll say build backlink ROI calculator. We'll do the same thing inside bolt.new and we'll just see which one builds the best apps and which one is the best overall, right? So we're also monitoring for speed here and also usability, so sometimes we all know these app tools can have bugs, they can mess up. It's quite easy to make mistakes, etc. So let's test them out and see which one performs the best. So what's actually incredible is the fact that Lovable is still coding out, Bolt.new is still coding out, and Quen has already come back to us with a working app. If we give it some ideas, so for example, if we just test this work, we can see the values update. If we change the buttons at the bottom, we're good to go on that. So we've got the estimated results at the bottom and then what we can actually do is click deploy and boom we've got the app ready to go over here so in the time that it's taken for bolt.new to still code out an app and for lovable to build something out you see it's spinning up the preview quen has already built the app deployed it and done it all for free right bear in mind that bolt.new is a paid tool and lovable is a paid tool as well so you can see how powerful this is and how easy it is to create stuff now the only thing that I would say about this is that yes, it all works. Yes, it's free to build, blah, blah, blah. But the only problem here is like, it doesn't look that nice. So what we can do back inside the web dev here is we can say, okay, make this a beautiful, I don't know, pink gradient, something like that, just to make it look a bit nicer, right? So we just need to improve the UI. So it's going off and improving the UI, as you can see over here. Bolt.new is still coding out the first version, and so it's lovable. And then we'll wait for Quen 2.5 Max to perform. Now, the other thing here as well to note is that we're using the old model of Quen. And that's purely because I want to move faster on the video. I'm showing you some demos. I think normally what I'd recommend is that you actually use Quen 3. It's just that's going to take a bit more time to actually come out with outputs, right? So if you want speed, go with Quen 2.5 Max. If you want like the best possible outputs and you've got a bit more time than I have on a live stream, then I would recommend using Quen 3. So bolt.new has pulled this out now. Let's test this out. So it's given us a slightly different form here with the website URL. So we'll type in the website URL, put the backlink cost, the domain authority, relevance, etc. calculate ROI. And then we just need to put this as well. So it's asking us for the website URL. Click calculate URL. That is pretty nice to be fair. Like I would say the UI of Bolt is actually much nicer than the UI of Quen, so fair play to it. But we have got the output back from Quen, and that's doing the job, plus it's come back to version two already in the space of time, right? Now, the actual ROI calculator from Lovable is pretty basic as well. I would actually say, if I look at the UI, I'd say that bolt.new is winning, that created the nicest tool, and then Quen 2.5 Max probably created the second nicest one, and this is like just a super basic tool, right? And it also took the longest to create the outputs. It does work perfectly, which is awesome. But if I had a choice, I'd probably go with bolt.new. Then I'd go with Quen 2.5 Max and Quen Web Dev Coder. And then from there, 
we're going to go on to lovable is like the third choice i would say next up let's try the next prompt now so we're going to say keyword let's see what we got here so what we're going to do is we're going to create the monk mode journal app so i'm going to copy this we'll go back into bolt quen and lovable and see which one performs the best make sure you've got web dev selected when you're using quen and we'll do the same inside bold.new. I will say Quen is just absolutely rapid when it's doing the output. So you can see how fast it is for creating things here. Now, the other option that you have that's completely free is Firebase, firebase.google.com. I've actually got an SOP inside the SEO success lab if you want to get that link in the comments description. So if we delete one of these workspaces, you can actually use this for free. And then we can type in our prompt like, and we'll compare all four tools. Now, Firebase is another free tool as well. So now we've got today's reflection prompt. What did you learn about yourself today? How are you feeling? Your thoughts, etc. It looks quite nice. It's quite sleek. And then it's also got some trends in terms of how you're feeling. So let's put five here. And we'll put awesome day building out NA10 AI automations. Because what more can you ask for? So we're going to hit save entry like so. That saved the entry. Beautiful. The prompt is pretty nice and also we can just deploy this so we'll click deploy click on that link open it up and we're good to go on that right so that app is ready to go if we check it in responsive mode you can see it works perfectly in responsive mode and that's pretty awesome to build right now if we go to bolt.new that is still coding out firebase studio is giving us some options on prototyping so let's check this out but in terms of usability and speed Quen is just powering ahead, right? It's faster than Bolt, faster than Lovable, faster than Firebase, and it's completely free. Plus, you can deploy to subdomains. If you want to deploy your app on Firebase, you do have to pay. So that's one of the biggest differences here. If we click on, for example, Publish, it's going to link to Google Cloud Billing, and then we have to pay for this bad boy. So just something to be aware of. The only tool that is completely free here is Quen 2.5 Max. The other thing to note here is if you go back to Bolt, you know, exactly the same prompt as Quen and everything else. We use the same prompt on every single tool. And Bolt has already come back to us with a bunch of errors, right? If we click attempt to fix, we can try, but you can see we only have a limited number of tokens that we can use. So the more errors it has, which are not your fault, the more you rinse through the tokens. So that's quite hard to get through. Lovable is still going ahead, right? So you can see this is still building stuff out. It's taking quite a long time. Firebase is creating the project now. But again, you can't deploy it for free. Now, we attempted the fix, but bolt.new is still struggling. So I'm going to put bolt last here because so far it's totally failed. We'll wait for Firebase and we'll wait for Lovable. To be fair, look at that from Lovable. That's pretty beautiful. Let's just make sure it actually works. So let's put happy here. How did you nourish your spirit today? And I put with protein bars. That's how I nourish my spirit. Gratitude. I am grateful for this moment of reflection. I intend to be more mindful tomorrow. I see a safe journal entry. And then look at that. That's pretty cool, actually. So it's come back to us with the details on the app and everything else. Honestly, I would say aside from the UI, which is a little bit dodgy over here, I want to put lovable number one. But again, Quen is coming in number two. Firebase is coming in number three. So it's created something nice as you can see, but it's very similar to Quen. And then Bolt.new just totally failed. So if you compare all four apps, Quen is coming in second again, which is pretty impressive to be honest. It's more consistent and it's faster than every other tool as well. So let's try one more prompt. And by the way, if you want 50 of these prompts, feel free to get that inside the AI success lab, link in the comments description. It's completely free. Comes with all my best automations, tips, templates, workflows, and you can just join a community of how many people we got in here? 6,400 people in here. It's crazy stuff. So feel free to join that link in the comments and description. And if you want to get support, help, tips, etc., join the AI Profit Boardroom. That comes with coaching, support, community, and help and advice, plus weekly calls. So feel free to check that out, link in the comments description. So if we go back to Quen now, let's take one more example. So we'll create, for example, the churn risk predictor for calculating clients. We're going to go to new chat, plug that in. We'll do the same inside Lovable. Firebase we won't use this time, and then Bolt will try as well. And we'll see what we get back. So Quinn has already come back to us. He's unbelievably fast. 
Now let's put in the activity level. And that has failed actually. You can see here that when we click calculate chance score, that doesn't actually work. So I'm going to say when I click calculate churn score, it happens. Love Ball is still building out. Bolt.new seems to still be building out. And we're getting version 2 back from Quen 2.5 Max. Now, Love Ball has come back to us. And that's looking pretty nice to be fair. Let's just click that. Went into the client name, just as an example. And there we go, we get the client risk score perfectly. So to be fair, like Lovable is really good actually. It's got a lot better since I last tested it. Bolt again is broken. That's two out of three tests is broken and given us errors, which is wild really. If we click attempt fix, it just says potential problem detected, but it doesn't seem to fix it, right? So I just keep clicking attempt fix, it doesn't do anything. Lovable is winning and coming in number one. Let's check out this one. To be fair, Quen is broken as well, but at least it gives us some sort of output. So I'm going to put Lovable number one. I think, honestly, if you want to go for a paid option that gives you more premium experience, probably go with Lovable. Like, that's worked most of the time. Bolt.new has failed two out of three times, and I can't seem to fix this one. So I, I would put that in last. And then if you're looking for a free fast option, then I would go with Quen 2.5 Max. Bear in mind as well, inside Quen 2.5 Max, you can also, for example, generate deep research, artifacts, image generation, video generation code, etc. So it is a very powerful tool and it is completely free as well. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to get the full SAP template tips, all the links from today as well, feel free to get that inside the AICO Success Lab. Link in the comments and description is completely free. It comes with a community of 6,400 people and we're posting new cool stuff in there all the time. If you want to get an amazing community that's basically focused on helping you implement this stuff, actually making it actionable, giving you useful tips and just focusing more on making money and scaling up, then I would recommend the AI Profit Boardroom. Comes with weekly coaching calls, comes with an awesome community, all on my best agents, tips, templates, workflows. And additionally, if you can't make the Q&As, you can watch them back as a recording. So feel free to get that link in the comments description. There's a limited time offer right now, which is going to run out this month. So make sure you get that before it expires. And thanks very much for watching. Appreciate it. Cheers. Bye-bye.